Run it back, Nation. What is good, man? It is your boy, DJ Eastwood. Run it back, Philly. No frauds. Uh, no fanboys. No intros. Uh, continue to rank these videos up, man. Go ahead and hit the like button. Show your boy some love. Uh, you know, the, the like button is how you pay YouTube content creators for their time. We give you the content. You just pay us by smashing that like button. So keep hitting that for me, guys. Keep flooding the comments. Throw whatever you want in there. Your favorite emoji. I don't care. It's all for the algo. Algo gang, stand up. Look, man. What are we really doing here? I, I, all right, I don't want to scream this whole... I don't want to scream this whole thing, man. I've been ranting about Ben Simmons for years. Uh, it's absolutely ridiculous. And I, and I guess I'm just... I'm sorry to those of you that expect me to come up here and scream, but I'm just over it. I'm really over it. I'm not going to scream and yell about this. Uh, but I just want to read this and talk about just how ridiculous this is because it's ridiculous all right ben simmons holds out for no reason whatsoever of an entire nba season says i'm not coming back sixers say all right let's just let's just read the tweet all right thank you guys for hitting me up uh, I was live talking about the J.J. Orsega Whiteside trade, and you guys were flooding the chat saying, uh, Woj bomb Ben Simmons. So here we go, man. ESPN sources. Ben Simmons and the Philadelphia 76ers have reached a settlement agreement on the grievance the All-Star Guard filed to recoup a portion of the nearly $20 million withheld from him as a result of his failure to play games in the 2021-2022 season story soon all right Wojnowski says this also 76ers maintained that Simmons breached his contract upon failing to show up for the start of training camp and refusing to play in preseason and regular season games prior to the trade to the Nets Simmons cited his mental health for the reason his participation in team activities was so limited both sides agreed to confidentially agree to both sides agreed to a confidentiality agreement on the exact financial settlement sources tell ESPN. Now this is not good for the NBA. We're talking about players that control where they go. Kevin Durant asking out for a trade and his his four year contract didn't even kick in yet. Kyrie Irving trying to get his contract to state that he only has to play sixty games a season. Ben Simmons. Failing in a playoff game, getting booed by the entire city of Philadelphia, refusing to come back 100% out of fear, 100% out of bitch assness. All right? I haven't said that on this channel yet, I don't think. Bitch assness. I need you to understand what that means. Bitch assness. All right? Back in the day, there was a t-shirt that was put out by Sean Combs. I don't remember why or what it had to do with, but it just said no bitch assness. All right. That's how you, we got to get back to this, man. We got to get back to no bitch assness because this is bitch ass stuff. That's what this is. All right. And the NBA and corporate America in general is bending over to things like this out of fear of being canceled. By the bitch assness mafia of the internet. All right? The problem with the, Ben Simmons is the most self centered, narcissistic, psychopathic maniac I've ever seen in my life. Thinks he is above all of authority. And he tried back soreness to sit out. He tried all kinds of things. And when the Sixers said, that ain't going to cut it, you got to come to practice. He then strategized and pulled out the ultimate card that he knew that he knew the team couldn't argue because this is where we're at in 2022. He pulled the mental health card. This guy has not a single history of mental health issues on his record. This guy has never, ever been in the same sentence or paragraph as the word mental health. But he went and he pulled that card because he knew they couldn't argue it. Or he thought 
the Sixers went back and said, okay, you got to go. We're going to give you a therapist. We're going to give you a team appointed uh, mental health professional. You go see them. Ben said, nah, I'm not doing that. I'm going my own way. And they said, we're still not paying you. We don't care what you say. He files a grievance stating that his mental health, bro, I need you guys to understand what mental health is. I need you to understand this. All right? I don't want to pull the card, but I was diagnosed with chronic panic disorder in, in when I was 21 years old. That is a serious form of mental health. I went through therapies. I went through a lot of things to learn how to deal with it. I live with it every day. There's certain things I can't do. I can't drink too much. I can't have too much caffeine. I can't, there's a lot of things I need to do to control that issue that I have been medically diagnosed with. So when I see somebody that has never showed any signs and has never been mentioned with mental health, it pisses me right off. Because being scared to go back to an arena full of fans that are going to boo you is not mental health. That is not mental health. That is you being a little bitch. That's what that is. So in 2022, we're now teaching people, you don't have to man up. You don't have to toughen up. You don't have to, you don't have to pull your pants up. Put your big boy pants on. You can just cry and then claim mental health. I am absolutely blown away. And I'm, I'm, he's not getting his full $20 million, but I am pissed off that the Sixers are even giving him a fucking cent. It's absolutely ridiculous. And it sets a precedent moving forward for athletes that don't want to play, that just want to get the money. This is not good for the future of NBA. This is not good for the future of sports. Shame on you, Philadelphia 76ers, for giving in to this fraud and giving him even a dime. Shame on you, Philadelphia 76ers. There, I got it all out, man. You guys have a good day, man. I love you. Just keep doing your thing on the algo. Fucking Ben Simmons, man. It's ridiculous, man. Unbelievable.